Hello and welcome back to another episode. Hello and welcome back to another episode on the Skylandia Gaming Channel. Uh, today, we are in the search of a name tag. And one of the things that I noticed in the last video is that the music, or just sound in general, was still a bit too loud. So that's going down. And today, to get a name tag, we have a couple options. Uh, oh, there's an igloo in the middle of a frozen lake. That's wild. We have a couple options. Ow. First option, we could go fishing and get a name tag through fishing. We could also go dungeon delving and try and find one underground somewhere. Or we could try and get one through trading with villagers. Okay, no underground hideout. That's okay. And we have some lovely comments here giving us name suggestions. And thank you for all the name suggestions. And the top comment as of making this video is by Justin Juan2170, who suggested the name Catman. And as it stands, that'll be the name. If you leave a comment on that first video that gets more than, uh, I believe it was two likes, um, and I'm going to be liking all of the name suggestions that I see. If you get a comment that has the most likes on that video, I will find another name tag and rename the cat. Uh, so today's episode will not stop until we get a name tag. And I think I'm going to go the fishing route. But my other goal for today, we're going to have two goals. First one, get a name tag. Second goal, build a house. Yep, we got to make a house. Also, I did say last time that the goal was to like get an enchantment table, but I've never actually made it. So we are going to start today's episode off by making that. We have the paper here. We have the leather that I just made. Um, for some reason, it's not... Oh, I meant to keep that. That's okay, I'll find more sometime. Weird. And then we get to make ourselves a lovely enchantment table. How wonderful. I'm going to search for a decent spot to build my base. We're going to get a name tag to name Catman. And how about for the comment question or the comment challenge for this episode is to tell me which color we should dye Catman's collar. I'm going to keep it as purple for right now. But if you leave a comment with your favorite color that's in Minecraft, I will try my best to get that die and name that cat, or to die that cat. Excuse me while I go on a little bit of a murder spree. I was going to kill these other two, but I'm kind of liking this area here. There's some ruins to go explore later. We've got birch and oak, and I think some spruce as well. Yep. So I like this area. I'm gonna set up my million barrels. And by million, of course, I mean six. I don't need, I don't know why I put down three of these. Okay. There we go. And oh my God, I have 11 furnaces. Oh, holy cow. Okay, well, we are gonna put down three of them. I don't need that many. And the rest of everything can go in there. We've got some... We've got some chests as well. How am I sorting my stuff, you might ask? Uh, this is vegetables. This is valuables put those in there this is uh blocks i think this is tools this is gonna be i don't know extra stuff and then this one's empty right now but food that's not just bread i'm still gonna eat the bread though okay you can sit right there and i think first things first i'm gonna work on is making a little bit of a farm because then I can get both of those guys.
ready to go. I oh, okay. I'm gonna make an iron hoe and an iron pickaxe. Whoop. Okay. Well, if I'm gonna keep my first wood pickaxe, I might as well keep the second, the, my first stone one too. You know, for funsies. I just went over how I organized everything, and I already don't know. And I've also already made a big mistake, uh, because to make my little wheat farm that I was going to work on, I need a bucket, and to make a bucket, I need iron. And I had some iron, but then I turned it into a pickaxe, so I no longer have iron. And after locating some iron, I then brought it back to the house to smelt. Um, it was kind of stupid that I crafted an iron pickaxe and then an iron hoe, knowing that I was trying to make a farm, because I need the bucket to get the water to make the farm. But here I am, uh, putting together some shovels so that I can dig out where I'm gonna put the farm, and I think it's just gonna be like a basic wheat farm. I don't think I'm really gonna put too much thought into it, it's just gonna be a uh, like big 9x9 nine nine farm with the water in the middle. Um, and by now, I think the iron should be smelted, but I'm still digging away some dirt, shuffling around my inventory, and there we go. Pointing out where I'm going to put the farm, fill in some holes, because I don't want holes around where I'm going to put my base. And speaking of my base, um, I think I have a couple ideas of what I'm going to build, but I don't know if I want to spoil anything yet, so I guess you'll just have to stay tuned and keep watching. Here I am going and getting some water, breaking some plants to get some seeds, making sure I got the water, I guess. And by this point, I have fully decided that to get the name tag for Catman, I'm going to be doing some fishing. Um, and I will later find out that that was uh, maybe one of the worst decisions I could have made because, uh, spoiler alert, I spent hours fishing for this name tag. And oh my god, I wish I hadn't. Um, it took me a, it took me a while. It took I found some enchantment books by the time I was done. Oh, looks like there's a little bit of a lag spike here. That's unfortunate. It sorted itself out. But yeah, I did some fishing later and I mean, the goal of this video is to get a name tag, so I would hope I ended up getting a name tag. And here's the base of where my base is going to be. Um, I didn't realize that I started building that before I started building the farm. That's interesting. Um, counting out to put out the farm. <laughs> God, I put my chest in the way, of course. But here I am digging out my little wheat farm. Yeah. Gotta move all the stuff that I put here inconveniently, of course. Plant out some seeds. Get an achievement for that. Maybe I'll, maybe one day I'll work towards getting all the achievements. But that is a lot of work, and I don't know if I'm interested in doing that. Why did I, why did I log out there? I have no idea. Anyways, here I am fixing up. Well, I'm putting it over here now. Okay. Okay. I'm later going to have to move this whenever I make the house. So I don't really know what I'm doing. Um, but I think now I'm going to go get some materials to go build the house, I think is what's happening here. I think I'm going to make myself an extra axe. Yep. And off I go to collect some materials. And I'm not going to show you all of that because it, again, took me a little bit of time. So let's just cut to when I have some progress done. Okay, I have, it's been a little while, as you can see, I've collected a good amount of materials and things by now, um, a lot of oak, some birch and some spruce, um, I'm gonna just harvest a little bit of this because then I can replant it. And my crop empire 
expands. I'm gonna put some of that in there. Uh, this goes around there, that can go in there. Okay, and now I can get started. I made a new axe. I can get started on actually building what I'm gonna want. Um, so I have a couple inspiration ideas right now, but I'm kind of trying to make it my own thing as best that I can. So I think what I want to do is I want to start with some spruce, just in the little corners here. Go up the roof maybe. And I don't think I'm going to narrate this whole thing, I just want to get the little start and show you kind of the general idea here first. Um, These are gonna get stripped as well. Uh, so we're gonna do a little time lapse montage, whatever, of me building this thing, and enjoy. And here we are again with time lapse Skylar putting more audio into the video, so you guys aren't just watching a absolutely silent image of me building. Or video of me building um, and I wanted to talk about why some of the audio sounds weird and that's because I got a different headset halfway through making this video um, which ends up recording a lot more sound than the other one which is interesting um, and yeah, it works out pretty good. Here I am building up my house here. I got a nice birch floor. I love doing that pattern of alternating the birch logs, and it just gives me a use for all of the birch wood that I have, which is really nice. And if it isn't obvious, I am not making this house design myself. I'm following a design, but I'm adding some creative liberties to it, we'll say. Um, and again, I don't want to spoil anything because it well, I'll just tell you now, I don't finish the house in this episode. I build up a good portion of it, um, but yeah, I definitely don't finish it. So, we'll just, we're gonna super speed the rest of this time lapse because I don't have a whole lot else to say. not done I mean we've got the dirt scaffolding still up we've got one quarter of something that you definitely can't tell what it is yet but the idea is that it's gonna be a little windmill and then I'm actually gonna I changed my mind on this part I'm gonna build a little section um, for storage and stuff out this way um, not right now, of course, because that would be ridiculous. Um, but that's the plan. That's the plan. But right now, right now we live in a little bit of a husk of what could have been. I'm gonna just put all this wood stuff in there. Take that back. And plonk that in here. Okay. Now, 
a kind of secondary thing that I realize I'm going to need if I'm going to get this name tag situation dealt with is I'm going to need a lot of iron. Uh, let me let me see. 9, 9, 9, which is 27, and then 4. I need 31 iron. How much do I have? Oh, I don't have any. I thought I might have had like one or two. I don't have any. That's not good. Especially when I need 31. So, and I need that 31 so that I can make an anvil. And to, because I need to name the cat. I can get a name tag, but if I'm actually going to name the cat, I need the anvil to let it be named. So we are going to go on a little bit of a mining journey to get some iron, of course. And I will meet you back when, oh, I'll meet you back when I have found a pretty decent cave. Okay, it is underwater, but I did find a little bit of iron. Take what I can get, since apparently it's so rare. Ooh, looks like there's five. I thought there was just gonna be four. Gotta really work for it. Okay, lovely. I have found myself inside of the snow, which is something I forgot was even in Minecraft. Oh, happened again. Look at this. I was originally, I was gonna go over and show you this cool thing that I found, but looks like I'm gonna have to go the long way. Anyways, look at this. I found natural emeralds and I can actually mine it. How lovely. Dug my way into a little snow pack here and found some more iron. I was scared it was going to be just one, but it looks like I get... Oh, I was going to say two, but it looks like I get three. Can I open four? Nope. Three it is. As dangerous as it might be, I can't go to bed quite yet. I came back just to possibly go to bed, but I actually need to do some murder first. You find me in the middle of masterfully dodging a horde of creatures. I swooped in and stole my bed so that I can go sleep somewhere safe, but oh my god, there is nowhere safe. Nothing is sacred, and there are creatures that want me dead everywhere. That was maybe one of the coolest things I've ever done. I really don't want to go to the village because I don't want to spawn monsters there and have them kill all the villagers. So I'm trying my best to stay away from there. We'll see how it goes. Okay. I've just gone down this little, like, gopher hole or something. And it looks like it's expanding into quite the little cavern here. I did just run out of torches, so you might have to deal with some dark footage here. I wonder if I can up the brightness here for a little bit. No iron this way, that's okay. Maybe I'll find some another direction, like down here. I hear zombie, I see a zombie too. I don't know how you got me. You got super reach. That's okay. Three and four and five and six. How lovely. I can make myself a shield when I get back. And some redstone? Don't mind if I do. Okay. I might just go do a little bit more mining. Um, and then I will catch you back at home with the iron smelted. Thank <laughs> you.
And here we are back at home. I've put away some of the loot that I gathered. I went to a couple villages. I did some underground mining, got some iron that I'm smelting away here. And I'm preparing myself for the grueling task of fishing up a name tag. And I believe I explained this earlier, but the reason I wanted so much iron was so I could build an anvil. And I need the anvil so I can name the name tag and then I can name the cat. And I have to say that this quest is one of the strangest I think I've ever done. Um, I don't know why I gave myself the goal of getting a name tag for a cat because that is possibly one of the least productive things I could have done. So I'm glad I kind of deviated from that a little bit, you know, built up the house, started a small farm, gathered some just basic materials like some more wood and stone and iron and such. Um, and I'll have to think of whatever we're going to end up doing in the next episode. I definitely want to finish the little starter house here. Um, I might start getting some animals and stuff as well. You know, get some of those cows that are around. Maybe go find some sheep and stuff. Um, and here I am now in the rest of the video is going to be fishing. And I'm going to leave it here. Uh, if you want to watch me fish for a while, that's on you. Otherwise, you can skip to what it says on the screen. And here we are with the last little bit of fishing. Um, I'm waiting for the little bobber to go up and down. And suddenly, and without warning, I find myself in possession of the name tag. You can see I'm a little bit shocked. The slow turnaround, staring at the elusive item that has taken me, uh, I think around two hours to fish this thing up. Um, could have used my time for something more productive, but that's okay. I am now the proud owner of a name tag, and I am ready to name our lovely companion Catman. I put it in. I think I was just making sure I had the name right. Wow, this really took a lot longer than I thought it was gonna. Still, still checking to make sure I got it right. Yep, I'm still just making sure. Okay. Um, and while I make sure, uh, I would love to... Oh, there we go. I would love to remind you all to like and subscribe as this episode took uh, quite a bit of effort. Slow turn. Facing our companion. Our cat panion, if you will. And there we go. Catman. Yeah. I have got quite a bit of interesting items. I got a bow with flame on it, which is really nice. I got some enchanted books with some... Oh my god, look at the farm. You can see how much grew because of how long it took. That's crazy. Yeah. Like and subscribe. Comment down below if you wish. Um, here I am putting up the fishing rod that got us the name tag. I don't remember what I named this thing. Oh, that's because I didn't name it. <laughs> Fair enough. All right. 
Um, yeah, and I think that will do it. I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye. Bye.